This week I was able to learn the bare bones of Morse code in about two and a half hours and then took it even further. I'm gonna talk about how I learned to do that a little bit later on in the video, but first I wanna try and convince you as to why I think you should think Morse code is cool. The story of Morse code can't be told without the telegraph. The telegraph is a device that uses electrical current and wires to send and receive messages over long distances. Not unlike the modern day internet, the introduction of the telegraph revolutionized how individuals, businesses, and governments communicated. Instead of waiting for a horse to run from Boston to New York, we had electricity shooting through wires at 270,000 kilometers per second. As it grew in popularity throughout the 1800s, telegraph lines were run across the world and even laid across the Atlantic Ocean to allow for high-speed communication between the Americas and the rest of the world. Through trial and error and slowly improving on different systems, in 1851, the world decided that they needed a universally agreed upon system in which to communicate using the telegraph. And that system ended up being Morse code. Well, kind of. It was a more streamlined version of Morse code, developed by Samuel Morse's assistant, Alfred Vail. So technically, we should be calling it Vail code. Even though it is no longer a practical way to communicate, it has had a monumental impact on our civilization. It still shows up in pop culture from time to time and is kind of hidden in plain sight in a lot of our modern day systems. So Morse code is cool and you should learn it. Here's how I learned Morse code in two and a half hours, how you could learn it quicker, and my story towards becoming a novice Morse coder. So basically, with this sheet, the idea is that uh, you go left and right with a dot and a dash, and you kind of follow it until it gets to a letter and write that letter down. There you go. What? <laughs> oh my god. I'm not even making those sounds on purpose to like be annoying. It's just how I figure it out. That's bad. It is so cool listening to Morse code and figuring out a message. The WX is snowing, it has not rained. Okay, that's day one. I've been practicing for about an hour and a half now, and I've started to recognize like the, the simpler um, letters just kind of on their own. Last night I was doing some research on how to learn Morse code, and I watched Ding's video uh, with Michael Stevens from Vsauce on how he learned Morse code. And in it, he outlined a method to learn Morse code, which I think is gonna be a lot more helpful than this sheet right here. And that method is called verbal mnemonics. And it works like this. You take a letter like A, whose corresponding code is a dot and a dash, and you try and come up with a word that reminds you of the dot and the dash. And in Michael's video, he comes up with the word apart. So A reminds you of the dot and the word part or the section of the word part reminds you of the dash. So you repeat this process for every letter of the alphabet and the hope is that after practicing it a whole bunch of times, you'll be able to recite this and kind of connect the visualization of those words to the code that goes to each letter. I might be completely wrong in this, but coming up with my own words to relate to the Morse code, I think is gonna allow me to memorize this a bit easier. Um, so B, boo that stuff up. <laughs> That's so dumb. Damn, that's nice. Eh! I Damn. Fortnite sucks, bro. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Doing it all for memorization. Here we go. Apart. Oh, ah, oh. Zoo bear. YOLO. 
Oh my God. That's amazing. Okay, that was my second run through after developing my own verbal mnemonics and I was able to get every single letter. It's about 45 minutes of practice total and I have effectively memorized the letters in Morse code, which is incredible. I had no idea that this was possible. Okay, I got this app on my phone that makes uh, Morse code sounds. I'm gonna try and spell out my name. Steven, that is so cool. Do Morse code. Frick off, is it that easy? Oh my god! <laughs> wow. So I was able to learn Morse code in its most basic form in about two and a half hours, an hour of which was wasted on this sheet, which I'm not sure it helped me memorize Morse code at all, to be honest. If you're interested in learning Morse code, try verbal mnemonics. And if you sit down and really focus, I wouldn't be surprised if you were able to get to this point, wow, in about an hour. So getting to this point, wow, was technically learning Morse code, but there was no way I would have been able to communicate it very quickly or listen to it at a fast speed without having to constantly pause the recording. So I wanted to get better and I found a pretty good goal to work towards. Up until 1991, your ability to send and receive five words per minute Morse code was required to get your amateur radio license from the United States government. For reference, five words per minute sounds like this. And 20 words per minute sounds like this which was the highest level you could get under the radio community at that time. I thought it would be cool to get to the five words per minute proficiency, both sending and receiving, and get my fake amateur radio license. And I thought it was gonna be a pretty quick challenge, but it ended up being a lot more difficult than it sounds. So I might be able to do that right now. Oh no, I don't know if I can do five words per minute. All right, it took me about 45 minutes to get through 15 minutes of five word per minute Morse code, which is obviously not acceptable. After that, what really helped me was deliberately practicing the letters that I was struggling with. So if I was listening to the Morse code and G kept coming up and I kept missing G as it came up, I would stop and just listen to G a whole bunch of times, practice it over and over and over again. And that I think really took my experience with this from feeling a little bit frustrating to really starting to improve quickly at listening to Morse code. But I was still making mistakes. Dick. <laughs> what? The fir tree in my dick? <laughs> What kind of... That can't be right. Oh, back. <laughs> fur tree in my back yard. Not my fur tree in my dick yard. Oh my god. Five days in, I had the idea to record myself Morse coding a message and then listen back to it and see how it sounded, see if I could decode it easily. <laughs> Do you like my Morse code practice? No. <laughs> <laughs> and this was extremely helpful because when you listen to your own Morse code, you know, I realized that I wasn't taking big enough spaces between the letters. Oh God, this is so hard. <laughs> and by the sixth day of practice from when I started using this sheet 
to developing verbal mnemonics, I was able to consistently listen to five words per minute and copy it down and communicate it in a way that I could understand, which honestly felt awesome. So I was just able to get through uh, 15 minutes of five word per minute Morse code without stopping. It took me about 10 hours of practice total to get to five words per minute proficiency and become a novice Morse coder, which I think is super cool and totally worth it. If I was to do this again, I would start with verbal mnemonics first, obviously. I would deliberately practice the letters that I'm struggling with rather than just kind of hoping that I would learn them by listening to Morse code. And I think the big thing is I would try and find a partner to practice with because I feel like that would make learning this a lot more enjoyable and a lot easier. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I will now communicate a message in Morse code using my eyeballs. <laughs> I think I got it this time.